Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, Anthony from Table Race and BJJ. Today, here with uh, Val once again. Alright, so today we're going to do part two of Mountain Skate, three part. So the first one we did where we trap and we bump over. So today it is going to be we can't trap an arm. So we're going to do the hip escape method and a couple key points in this one. If you remember the last one, how we had to turn to bridge. This one is going to be very important that we remove friction from the ground. Alright, so. A lot of people just try to hip escape, but there's going to be too much connection between me, him, and the floor, so I have to get a little hip up. So I'll talk about that. All right. Hey. Yeah. All right. So, John, get ahead. Get tight. Hey. So, getting my elbow in isn't always simple. So one thing I like to do, hand check my face, is I'm going to do the same like I would like when I bridge, but I dip my elbow into my ribs. Okay. So like here I can't do it, but when I make a space, my body pushes it in. Right, so now, knowing what he's most likely going to do, he's most likely going to try and come technical and try to arm bar me. So I start protecting the hand that's not going in. Here. So now I have a frame across his hip as well. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bump in an angle, and I want to put his hand on the floor. Alright? See? Now my hips are off the ground slightly, and his leg came up. So I'm gonna push my hip back. I never move this leg. I, keep, I just keep it here with my elbow. Now my shin comes in and I hook the lift. All right? I could traditionally hip up and hip out and come this way, but I don't need, like once I'm here, having the block, push my head away, I like to step on the hip. All right, so I have this hook, I have a foot hip, now I just want to concentrate on one side, so I'm going to switch from the hook on the leg to the other leg. Now I'm just concentrating on one side. I have my knees really pinched guys. I'm going to push, start forcing him to the floor. Even if he stayed up on his leg, I'm still pushing. Because now I'm going to maintain control of this leg here. Technical stand up out of here and drag him. Alright, so now I'm on top passing and I didn't end up the close Alright, so one more time. So remember guys, very important when I bump to get out, boom, I put I keep my hip off the floor to hip out. If I drive my hip, if I let my hip be on the floor, now I'm trying to push against the floor, the friction of him pushing and his leg, it's gonna be really difficult. So here. Remember it's angle, drive the elbow in, protect the hand, get a frame on the hip. So I'm gonna bump, hit. Alright? Do you think we can get a better angle for that or pretty good? Like maybe. Uh -oh. Maybe I should switch sides here for this one? Oh, we're right. Here? Good. So stay right here, look at this hip. Bump. See, so keep that hip off the floor. Bump. Okay. So then this right in the hook. Push my head away. I'm flexible enough to get real close, but some people aren't. So just push your head away. Easier to step. Remember? So don't don't stay on this leg. Come back. Alright, and I can push. If he happened to just get up here, he's in single leg X. Hit one, hip two. Still technical standing. Alright, so single leg X cuts with right there as well. So remember, big key, reduce the friction by getting your hip off the ground slightly. So when I hip escape, I'm not pushing his leg. I'm using my hip to push his legs back, and my form is just blocking his leg. All right, one more time, just so you can see that accent. So my hip is going to push this leg out, and my form, when I get here, he's just going to keep his leg here. All right, so hip, and then my hip pushes his leg. All right, this stay here. And one, one, two, one, and down. All right, guys. Any questions from on the bottom, like and subscribe.